When you look at radiation therapy, the way we used to give it many years ago was you simply treated based on an x-ray. You didn't even, you know, back in the old days, have a CT scan. Then along came CT scans, and now we could rebuild someone in three dimensions. And we could try and conform the radiation a little bit better to the actual shape of the tumor in the area we wanted to treat. Then what happened was someone came along and they said, well, it's nice you're shaping that radiation to some extent, but you give the exact same dose all the way through the patient. You don't vary it at all. Intensity modulation is the idea of varying the intensity of the radiation across a treatment field. So that now, by doing that, you can actually do a much better job of custom shaping radiation into these structures, because none of these structures are perfect circles or squares. And each person's anatomy is different from anyone else's anatomy. So now we have the power and the ability to custom contour radiation into an individual. One of the next steps past that was they took this intensity modulation and they said, that's fine, but you're only treating from a few directions. Why don't we design a machine that can actually treat from every possible direction, and then it can dis or we can decide whether or not to give treatment from nearly any angle around the patient, up to 360 degrees. So as it's going around the patient, it can turn on and off as it's going around to avoid critical and important structures, to treat the tumor when it's in a very uh, good position to be treated, and to modulate the intensity at the same time. This allows us to create a very customized three-dimensional field that is shaped into the area we want to treat, which can very much reduce the amount of radiation a patient gets elsewhere in their body.